One of the exciting new features in CTrader is the option to create plugins. Plugins are special algos whose main purpose is to give users easy access to various services. Plugins allow you to extend the CTrader desktop user interface with several ways like adding additional sections in the active symbol panel and the trade watch, creating your own chart frames as well as your own custom windows without necessarily using a CBOT or an indicator. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can add your own section in the active symbol panel using a plugin. Let's switch to the CTrader Automate section and navigate to the Plugins tab. We will create a new plugin by clicking on the New button. We will name our plugin My ASP Example. We will select the ASP section example and press Create. In the auto generated code, we will rename the plugin title and build it. We will navigate to the Trade section and see our plugin displayed in our Active Symbol panel. The default template contains a WebView component which displays the CTrader forum. Going back to our plugin, we will remove the WebView code and we will develop a plugin that will display the position's volume weighted average price of the current open positions. We will start by defining two text blocks where we will display our information. We will also need a panel for our text boxes. Then we will initialize the two text blocks. Let's add our text boxes to the panel and make the panel a child control of our plugin block. Let's build our plugin and inspect it again in the trade section. We can see the two text boxes added in the place of the web view. We will go back to our source code and implement the logic for calculating the VWAP for each direction. We will also add an event to handle position opening so that we can update the text boxes when a new position is added. Let's build the plugin again, go back to the trade section and add some positions. We can see how the text boxes display the updated VWAP each time a position is added. Finally, let's add some style to our controls. Let's build again and see how the styles have changed in our plugin. In this video, we have demonstrated how to develop a simple plugin for the active symbol panel section. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.